Alright, so check it out. <laughs> We're doing this one shot, one take. It's live. Um, Pokemon X and Y's 10 year anniversary is approaching. And I wanted to get the gold trainer card, which is something I've never gotten in any other Pokemon game. So, this past weekend I've been grinding a full team. Uh, this is not a part of the team. It is this Swampert, this Mega Gardevoir, and this Haxorus. So, to do the Gold Star card, you need, or Gold Trainer card, I should say. To do the Gold Trainer card, you need to, the final step I need at least, is to get 50 battle wins in a row at the Battle Maison in any of the Battle Maison categories. I'm doing single battles, they're the quickest, they're the shortest, and I only gotta get three Pokemon for them. Um, so I'm currently on battle number 50. Like I did battle one through 49, they're done, I won. But now I gotta do battle 50, which is against Battle Maison, let's see, the battle, yeah, I can't pronounce that, but I'm gonna call it the Battle Maison Head Nita. Uh, she looks like that. And that's her team. Her team is the three genies with competitive moveset, competitive item, and they're EV trained. So, yeah, I have brought a team which is based around actually getting to the 50th battle. And then now I kind of just like redid their movesets to optimally, th the best they can be for this particular battle. So that's why we have a very interesting moveset where we have Dragonpaw and Outrage. And then Rock Tomb. Rock Tomb is hopefully to slow him down if I need to. And then there's nothing Haxorus really learns that's like gonna do too much damage other than just straight up Dragon Dance and just hitting him with a super hard move. Um, the strategy with Gardevoir, simple, uh, you know, Mega, maybe Combine if I get a chance. But, maybe, but we're basically just blasting off attacks and then just Swamper as just damage. Um, Good defensive, we'll see. I don't know. This is kind of just whipped together. Uh, yo, shout out to the actual video cam setup. So we're doing it live. Um, I don't know how this is going to go. I'm going to lead with... I've been historically leading with uh, Haxorus. I just like throw it in. If I got a good pair up, you hit Dragon Dance, and you sweep, hopefully. Worst case, you swap out. Um, I'm not doing that this time around because I feel as if... I don't know if, if if it's like the wrong starter. If I get if I start off with like Tornadus, I don't know how it's gonna go. So I'm just gonna start off with Gardevoir, Mega, and we're just hitting shit. I don't know. I don't know. There's no strategy, but like this is. I just hope this shit goes well. Um, if I if this doesn't go well, um, I gotta do 50 battles again, which would suck because this is currently. Let me see. This is currently my one, two, three, four, fifth attempt. Uh, my first run, I got. 11 battles in, then 34, then 31, then 27, and now I'm at 49, about to do the 50th battle uh, on attempt 5, so hopefully I just get this shit done. It'd be cool, 10 year anniversary of X and Y approaching, to get the gold trainer card. So yeah, let's see. Let's see how this goes. Yo, shout out to the reflection in the background, that's what's up. Um, I guess I'll save before... Ooh, I can change the music. I think I have the gym leader theme on right now, but I want to put the Elite Four theme instead. Oh, well, I don't know what's what. I'm going to look up the Battle Maison themes. Battle Maison themes. Like I said, we do a live. Oh shit, I only have four musics unlocked, so all I have is Trainer, Wild, Rival, and Gym Leader. Alright, well I guess Gym Leader is all we got. We do a live. That's right, Mr. Mr. Visman, that's right. Absolutely. In party... Alright, so lead Gardevoir. 
Let me check my summaries real quick, make sure I got everything on. Yeah, that's as good as we're gonna get. Is that what I want? Do I do I want focus sash? Yeah, I probably do. Also, if I lose this, I gotta like change their moves again to what they were to actually get through to have like an actual big variety move set. Like Haxorus had like poison, poison jab and earthquake, and I gotta put focus blast back on. Guard of War. So be a pain. So I know I'm like six minutes in. I haven't started yet, but like, all right, here we go. Shit. I'm pretty worried because this is meant to be a hard battle. This isn't just like a like random battle. All right, I've never seen this. Yeah, but, like, how do you pronounce that? Chatelaine? Chatelaine. Chatelaine. Chatelaine, I don't know. I don't know who you are. No guff. So let's get cracking on it. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. Damn, she got that G wagon. All right, thunderous. How do I feel about that? How do I feel about thunderous coming in? What's it gonna do? It's gonna sky drop. Crunch. Damn, now that I'm in the battle, I'm, I'm already like, I don't know how I'm going to win this. Like, I was kind of hoping for a Landorus lead. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to Mega and just... Damn, this is actually really hard. I'm like looking, um, looking up Thunderous' stats. And it's special defense is higher. I might turn this down a bit. Just cause I gotta hear myself think. Um. Or do I mega comp? Is this? No, it's physical, right? Yeah, I was hoping to maybe set up a combine turn one. Look at U turns. What if it sky drops, man? Sky drop is gonna do a fuckload of. Oh my god. Okay, hold up. Okay, I think I know what to do. This might be super ballsy. I'm gonna hope it goes for sky. I have a feeling it's gonna go for like the most damaging move, which would be sky drop, I think. And if it does that and it takes Swampert, that would be. Alright, I don't know. Use Sky Drop. The worst case scenario is it uses Crunch. Wow. Okay, perfect. I got a free switch in. Okay. So, now I've got Thunderous in on Swampert. Okay. What does this mean? It means it's going to go for a U turn or a Sky Drop. I highly doubt it goes for a crunch. I don't see that happening. What sky drops damage? Okay, I'm gonna okay, I'm gonna assume sky drop. And if it's gonna sky drop, well, if it's gonna sky drop, then it doesn't matter what I do because it's gonna take me up. So in theory, I would be using avalanche. So that's what I'm gonna use. But let's say it doesn't use sky drop. What do I want? I still want avalanche. Okay. Sky drop. All right. So it takes it with me. So it takes me up this turn. So I can't do anything this turn. It's very odd in singles, but in doubles it makes sense because you can kind of like prevent moves. So what? So the way Avalanche works is if I get hit on the turn I click it, well, Avalanche always goes second regardless. But if I get hit, it does double damage. So this is gonna do huge damage right now. I don't know how much though. 
How much is this gonna do to me, Sky Drop? Because this is stab. I'm freed. Avalanche. Oh my god! That is crazy. Okay, that went extremely well. Landorus. Okay. Oh my god. Alright, so I gave Swamper. No, bro. Okay. It's gonna go for Grass Knot. It's gonna go for Grass Knot. Okay. If it goes for Grass... It has to go for Grass Knot, right? Because it sees the kill with Grass Knot. So assuming it's gonna use Grass Knot, which would one-shot me, it makes the most sense to go into Haxorus, then start setting up Dragon Dances, because this is Scarfed. So it, it's gonna be forced to use Grass Knots over and over. I can't see it going for Extra Sensory. That would... Or uh, Earth Power. That would fuck my shit up. But I'm gonna assume the AI is smart. Okay. Go Grass Knot. If it doesn't go Grass Knot, we kind of in trouble. High key. Mold we'll edit nothing. Oh my god, we read him like a book. So now we start setting up Dragon Dances because... Like, is this gonna... It's gonna switch, right? Oh, it's, is it really gonna just sit here and Grass Knot me? Well, that works out, like, really well. Okay, so Grass Knot Crit definitely won't kill me. Like, for sure. So, what I can do now is I can set up one more... Can I set one more up? What's the math on that? What's the math on that? Because I have maximum 151, nice, 151 HP. I got 66 left. So across two turns, I took on average 42.5 damage. If I do 1.5, which is crit, it's 63.5 damage. So a crit, a crit grass knot could kill me. Damn. But I don't know if a, but will a dragon dance from, will a dragon dance? Okay, what are we in? Landorus, right? Okay, I'm plugging in uh, Haxorus's set right now in the damage calc against Landorus. Um, I'm also faster. Okay, you know, I'm also faster, so I'm gonna get a hit off. So I'm gonna go Outrage. If it crits me, it kills me, fine, I move on. If it doesn't crit me, then the next Outrage will kill it and we're good. So I'm gonna go Outrage. I don't need to really run the calc. I think we're good. Oh, it's fast limit because Troy Scarf. I'm dumb. I forgot I had Choice Scarf. Or how much is how much plus one outrage on a lander is gonna do? Oh, it's gonna do one shot straight up. Okay. Oh, we're in a crazy position now. This is outrages. That's it. Wow. That went really well. Damn, that went really well. I'm, like, really proud of that. Sweet. Hey, you guys about to see some shit right now. I've never seen any of this stuff. She said guff again. What a weirdo. Can you continue? Appreciate it. Oh yeah, so like in the battle maison, like if you complete one of the 50, because if you see right here, breaking the fourth wall, there's no wall, um, this is the person for singles. So to unlock this entire battle, you got to do like basic singles first, where you're fighting like not, in, not fully evolved Pokemon, like basic, really weak, nothing competitive, just whatever shit. Um, and if you get 20 of those battles, 
then you unlock super and this is what actually completes um the challenge so this is the singles this doubles they got pretty cool designs Oh yeah, they all got crazy Pokemon. I don't see these teams or not, but these teams are wild. Oh, they're super formats at least. Uh, so let's see. Oh, it keeps going. Wow, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna interrupt. And then actually go swap my moves back to what they were. And you'll see how far I can get in this run. Just out of curiosity. Um, but let's peep out... Let's peep out the rewards. This is sick. We can go check out the statue up front. I've never done this. Look at that. Oh, shit. It's a monument commemorating your 50 consecutive wins in super single battle. I'm glad um, this one's the one in the center because I would hate it if it was one of the off-center ones. And as cool as this is, I would love to have all of these. Don't have the resources in this game to get all of them because you got to do it's one of them is double, which I in theory could make a double battle team, but I don't know. It seems a bit od. Then there's like a rotation battle, then there's like a triple battle, and then there's like a multi battle. It, it's a mess, and I can't imagine doing 50 because I got fucked pretty hard in singles, and that's the kind of the simplest um, or the least amount of RNG can fuck you. Um, wait, let's check out the trainer card. I hope, I hope it worked. Wow, look at that. The gold trainer card. Damn. That's pretty clean. But yeah, you can see Adventure started on, um, November. 2013 and it's now September 2023 Damn Oh look at how many BP I've accumulated. 500. I think I started with like 100. A little under 100. Got up to like 542. But yeah, I'll keep going. Um, I'm gonna reteach some of these Pokemon moves they had previously. And I'll see how far I can get. But, uh, yeah.